So I haven't really finished the entire column yet, but I would just continue to work my way out. And you can see that the white section or that highlight kind of gets larger. Um, it starts out smaller and gets larger as I move along. If you wanted to add in more highlights, you could along the columns. Um, so every column or, you know, every other column, whatever, every area needs to be a color scheme of some kind. You need to represent all of the color schemes that we talked about in your project. Um, the only one that might be a little diff difficult would be the intermediate, but I actually do think, like, we have yellow, green, um, colored pencils. You could probably make it work. Um, if not, that would be the only one I wouldn't count against you, but otherwise I'm going to be looking for all of the color schemes to be used in the different columns. So for that, um, for the column, if you want more than one highlight, you might do something like this. Just adding in, remember to keep that curving of coloring so that you can make the effect feel uh, better. I don't know how to... And, and you might have noticed I go in darker if I don't have the color to add the extra darkness because I don't have an extra pencil in that color. I just go in and add a little bit darker. So I'm actually doing the intermediate here because I do have a red orange and I have a yellow green. And I'm doing two highlights on this one, which you can do two, you can do one. Just depends on how you want it to feel. I don't know if I have a blue green or not. Let's see. That's a regular green. This is kind of a bluish greenish aqua feeling one. So this would be a good example for intermediate and this pencil of course is not sharpened. But that's how you would do the two highlights and they would just continue to grow as well like the other ones did.